What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back out again with another video. So, I'm literally just waking up and I check Instagram and Twitter. I'm getting tagged in posts. Apparently, Triple H has just become the new head of creative. Oh my goodness. What a time to be alive for a wrestling fan. This is insane we literally are just a few days removed from vince mcmahon retiring from wwe now triple h is head of creative on top of his other duties this is just insanity right now i don't even know how to feel man this is this is crazy man so we're gonna check this out on slamwrestling.com man let's get right into this article wwe confirms co-ceo's announced Triple H as head of creative. Let's get into this. The winds of change continue to blow in WWE. The company officially announced today that Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan are now co-executive uh, officers. Uh, McMahon has also been app uh, appointed uh, the man has also been appointed chairwoman of the board and Khan will continue to serve as a member of the board. We are uh, grateful. We are grateful for the opportunity to lead WWE together with our unmatched management teams. We recognize this as a tremendous opportunity and a responsibility, and we look forward to serving the WWE universe, said McMahon and Khan in a joint statement. The WWE also made another big change, putting Paul Levesque, aka Triple H, in charge of all responsibilities related to WWE creative in addition to his regular duties. What this means for long, uh, long time WWE employees, Bruce Pritchard and Kevin Dunn's remains to be seen. Last week, Levesque returned to the company as a EVP, uh, talent relations, as Vince McMahon announced his retirement, bro. Short and sweet, bruh. This is crazy. W WWE, they have really like the company as a whole has been going through like a lot of crazy things. You know what I'm saying? One one crazy thing after another with injuries and then you know turmoil that was going on behind stage. You know, what well, well, backstage with Sasha and Naomi. Like it's been a really wild year for WWE and the whole Vince McMahon scandal and everything that's been going on and to see with not even the, <laughs> not even the whole weekend like we're starting off the week with now Triple H the head of creative oh my goodness bro uh, on top of his regular do oh my god and question is what happens to Bruce Pritchard and Kevin Dunn maybe they're out as well I don't know but this is Wow, I am actually shocked this is happening so soon. I was thinking maybe Kevin Dunn, Bruce Pritchard, they're going to, you know, still be there for a little bit and then the transition will happen gradually. No, they're out damn near. <laughs> Pretty much. They, I mean, Triple H is still head of creative. Maybe they'll still use them, but Triple H is still head of, he's going to be head of creative. It excites me. Because I remember how Triple H booked NXT. I remember how he was able to, like, really create some fantastic, like, storylines and, and feuds. Like, he, for those who watched the Black and Gold NXT, and you had a feel for these wrestlers where you actually cared about them. You know, like, you actually cared about them. He damn near made them bigger stars than what they already were just to the NXT brand. So, anytime they went to the main roster, it was a good amount of people that knew who they were, that was appreciative of who they were, that were excited. And then, when they would go to the main roster, Vince would get a hold of them and pretty much just, he wouldn't utilize them correctly. He would change so much about them. That the fans that are trying to get used to them or try to understand who they are, they would just kind of turn away. They were like, yo, this is dumb. I see what he did with Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross have been a monster threat. A monster threat, but they, they kind of butchered that. The same thing with Ricochet. Ricochet should be definitely at the top of the mid card. But once again, they, they killed his momentum. There's only a handful of people that came from NXT. And they pretty much 
became stars like Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Shinsuke is kind of a hit and miss there. Uh, Asuka, um, Seth Rollins. You know, there's only a few people that came from NXT that legit on the main roster are stars or, you know, like people that, you know, the, the casual fan actually care about. You feel me? So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited because what he was able to do with NXT, he was able to create new stars. Now, anytime there was an NXT takeover, people were excited people cared you know what i'm saying people were genuinely excited to see who was going like what was going to happen and i want to be able to say that i think some of that's going to carry over onto the main roster some of that type of energy and and type of creativity is going to carry over they know they have to create more stars they know they have to so if they're able to bring up more people you know from nxt or or recruit more people and kind of build them up and actually make some compelling storylines that make sense i'm all for it and here's the thing about the black and gold nxt it wasn't perfect by any means but it was breath it was a breath of fresh air because it just seemed more grounded in reality it seemed more i guess you can say structured with uh, a little bit of realism like even though the main roster has some good storylines here and there, it's mainly for the past few years been Roman and Seth Rollins has been having some of the better storylines. It's it's one of those things where a lot of times you have a whole bunch of segments on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown that are like just like they don't make sense. It's it's kind of hokey, kind of cringe. And I'm not saying that WWE is going to get rid of all of that once Triple H gets involved you know, on more of the creative side, but I, I do believe he will probably try to bring a little bit more, more realism to WWE main roster, like less of the hokey cringe stuff, more of the trying to build up stars to be the next, next champion, trying to build up stars to be that next, you know, that next megastar, you know what I'm saying? That next wrestler that people are going to pay money to want to see, or people are going to you know, want to check out the pay-per-views to see, you know, and good in-ring wrestling, bring that back, I'm all for it, you know, I, I'm, I'm, this is, this is amazing news, bro, like, if you guys remember how NXT, the black and gold brand was, which I do remember, it was a lot of fun stuff, it was a lot of cringe stuff, but, you know, there was definitely a lot of, it, it was, the good outweighed more of the bad, we may start seeing more of that he may we may start seeing more of that on the main roster and more of that probably on nxt 2.0 you know like can you imagine like can you guys truly imagine what he could possibly do with like a walter even though they're not doing bad with walter or you know gunther as he goes by even though he's not doing bad with gunther do you can you see what he could possibly do with him more on smackdown or with a ricochet or what he could do with the tag team because tag team wrestling in nxt at one point was it was the truth bruh so I, I, don't, I don't i'm just so excited hell the women's division i believe there are some reports that he's trying to get naomi and sasha back potentially you know what i'm saying trying to talk to them because if there's anybody that they will listen to especially sasha is triple h now that he's head of creative we may get some we we may we may able to be able to get them back like i'm just i'm just so happy bro i am so goddamn happy this literally i said it in my vince video this literally is the the, the thing that a lot of fans wanted we are actually seeing change in wwe it may take some more time but if triple h is head of creative we may see more change sooner rather than later so comment down below let me know how do you guys feel about triple h now being head of creative in wwe on top of his other duties especially on the main roster let me know how you guys feel am i the only one that feels excited about what's to come here man like i'm just i'm just thinking of the possibilities that triple h is going to come up with it's going to actually make people care even more on these regular shows that i think that's what wwe has been missing they care about their pay-per-views but their week-to-week -week shows they could just give two f's and i think triple h is going to change that 
And if the shows are able to get better, you may see more frequent live streams from me <laughs> every week. If I'm able to see some change, actual change, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be checking, of course. If I'm able to see some actual change, I have no problem sitting there and watching Raw and SmackDown on a weekly basis. If I see change and it's being, it's more enjoyable, I'm all for it. I am all for it. So, but I appreciate all love and support. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.